when I was first getting started with this project, I thought the carbon fiber racing frame would be the best platform to build on. As you can see, I have done some modification by cutting holes for weight reduction and for the Intel Edison to fit properly. After some experimentation, I realized that the frame was prohibiting progress because testing became dangerous. I would have to grab and manipulate the drone like this while the propellers were spinning millimeters away from my fingers, so this became dangerous. I did not care for that method, so I decided to design something a bit different. Here is my current prototype. This took a good bit of time to craft and weighs nearly 10 grams more than the carbon fiber frame, but it has the added benefit that I can hold and manipulate this frame much easier. As you can see, we have a power distribution board here, the XT30 battery connector. There are four brushless motors. These are considered to be three inch propellers. The motors are 1407 3200 kV. Here is a 20 amp four in one ESC very compact and keeps the wiring clean. This can run a two to four cell LiPo battery. I chose the CSC for security in case I decided to change propellers that have a greater current draw due to increased drag. Underneath we have a three cell LiPo battery with a 800 milliamp hour and 25C rating. The Intel Edison PWM block, nine degrees of freedom in the battery block. This block gives us a pinout for positive and negative which connects to the power unit here. My theory with this drone placed inside of an inverted pyramid is that it will stabilize and balance on a single point. Possibly at some point I can teach it to spin and balance like a gyroscope. Alright, let's get things running. One thing I have to do here is find the switch on the battery block. Turn the switch on and the blue LED will illuminate. Alright, now we're going to go over to the computer and type in ssh root at and then the IP address of your Intel Edison. All right, the program that I want to run is in the Blink folder, so let's change to that directory. When I start this program, test PID5, the first step that it takes calibrates the ESC unit by sending high pulse width, weights, then sends low pulse width. During this low pulse width, the two LEDs start to flash, indicating the second step where the motors begin spinning and the PID controller is active. Immediately plug the LiPo battery in after you start the program. So I'm currently at a point with this drone where the PID controller doesn't really act the way that I have expected it to, but clearly there's some modification that needs to be done. And once that's, once that's accomplished, I think that this will balance like a gyroscope, but for now, it still sort of oscillates when it goes beyond its boundaries. So in future videos, hopefully I'll be able to show this to you. And uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, make sure to leave some comments and questions below if you have any. Look to the description for helpful information. Thanks for joining me on the J Mart. I'll see you next time.